I know a lot of you guys have probably heard of uh, trying to find your circuit color by pulling out your tape measure and going down your numbers. Like you know that one will be black and two will be black, twelve's gonna be blue and so on. Uh, so you just count them to try to figure out what color it is. You go black, black, red, red, blue, blue. Uh, somebody taught me that and I thought that was kind of a cool trick but at the same time I'm like and if I gotta get to a high number up there I'm gonna be going forever and I'm gonna lose count so something I kind of like started doing on my tape measures was uh, marking them with colored sharpies so he's got a black a red and a blue and I underlined the numbers well, this trick I really like it I absolutely love it. So I went ahead, he's underlined all the numbers on here with the corresponding circuits. Oh yeah, I don't gotta count anything at all. See three and four is red, five and six are blue, and it just keeps on going and going and going. Let's see, I think I got it somewhere in a hundred. Yeah, I think I just stopped it at, I don't know, somewhere in there. But, you know, you get to certain situations where you don't feel like doing the math for it. You, you don't want to waste your time uh, getting out the app, which there's a lot of apps for this too, guys. I'll, I'll include some, some uh, links down below for some cool apps you can get for circuit colors. Uh, I, I don't know, like a lot of people just sit down and do the whole math trick for it. I I don't like doing it that way. I'm not the best at math. I'll screw up every now and then. And you screw that up, now all your circuits are off by a, a number or whatever with the colors. It's all, it all goes out of whack. I'd rather be absolutely correct than to assume that I'm correct. Because you, you never know if you make a mistake doing your math. Uh, doing this tape maker trick, this can go wrong too because I can start it here, black, black, red, red, blue, blue, but by the time I get to like 80 something, which I did on this one, uh, at the end, I kind of screwed up the colors because I wasn't paying a lot of attention to it. So you got to pay attention. You, you want to go through each and every number and check it. And again, if, if you screw up and you got the wrong color on there, just take one of your colored markers and, uh, erase it you know just like we do with the the cover some of them it'll work a little bit better we just go ahead and do that on there the cool thing is this isn't really in the way of your little tick marks down here you can you can still use your tape measure the same way or if you don't want to use the front this measure here is cobalt one it's got numbers on the back too so you can use that that's pretty pretty good idea as well um, yeah, this is, this is a pretty neat little trick, and again, I'm going to put the links down there for those apps. So I, I love using the circuit apps as well, because sometimes maybe I don't have my tape measure on me for some reason, but I always got my phone, and that app is always right. You can put in whatever number you want on that app, and it, it'll show up on there with the circuit color. Please check out the links listed below in the description area. Thank you all for watching. Please give this video a like if you enjoyed it. Also subscribe to Electrical Tools and Tips for more videos in the future. Be sure to follow us on Instagram and like us on Facebook. Also please check out our website listed below.